Imagine waking up each day with a heart eager to connect with God, a quiet, sacred moment where, before all else, you turn to Him. As the world rushes around, you choose stillness, seeking His wisdom, strength, and peace. In these moments, we find something that cannot be matched by anything the world offers, a divine relationship that enriches our lives in ways we never imagined. It's more than a habit, it's a lifestyle grounded in faith that sets us, as chosen ones, apart. When we prioritize God, we align our steps with His path and purpose, and in doing so, we embrace our identity as His beloved, in a world flooded with distractions and endless to-do lists, placing God first is not always easy. Yet, when we commit to doing so, we realize that this very choice grants us a life infused with strength, hope, and divine guidance. To prioritize God is to consciously decide that He is the core of every aspect of our lives. When we do this, we experience His blessings in ways that often leave us in awe. His protection surrounds us like a fortress, His provision satisfies our every need, and His peace guards our hearts, even in the storms of life. When you make God your first priority, you're not simply living for yourself anymore. You're stepping into a divine narrative where every day has meaning, every challenge holds purpose, and every victory serves as a testament to His faithfulness. You become a beacon of hope, a light in a world searching for direction. People may not always understand why you choose God over material pursuits or human approval, but as C.S. Lewis insightfully wrote, we are not merely made for this world, we are created for eternity, Lewis eloquently captured this truth, saying, if we find ourselves with a desire that nothing in this world can satisfy, the most probable explanation is that we were made for another world. This longing we feel within us, the need for meaning, joy, and fulfillment, can only be met through a relationship with God. Earthly possessions may offer temporary satisfaction, but it is in God's presence that we find eternal peace and purpose. Placing God first is not just about feeling good, it's about positioning ourselves for a deeper, transformative relationship that only He can provide. Psalm 91 verse 1 tells us, He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. This verse speaks of a profound, unwavering security that we gain only by placing our lives fully in God's hands. To dwell in God's presence is to be held by a refuge that goes beyond worldly protections, it is an assurance rooted in divine promises that are unbreakable and eternal. When we prioritize God, we make a deliberate choice to step into His unshakable embrace, aligning ourselves with His purpose and promises, and choosing faith over the fleeting comforts of the world. Choosing to walk by faith, not by sight, as Paul says in 2 Corinthians 5 verse 7, is the defining mark of a life anchored in God. Faith, by nature, calls us to trust in what we cannot see, to lean on God's understanding rather than our own. In this choice, we defy the fear that often stems from uncertainty. When we walk by faith, we relinquish our reliance on human reasoning, embracing instead a divine perspective that grants us peace even in the midst of life's most daunting challenges. Faith becomes the firm foundation on which we stand, a stronghold that protects us from the instability of worldly circumstances and shifting opinions. To live by faith in action means embracing a freedom from fear. This freedom doesn't mean that difficulties will vanish, rather, it means that these difficulties no longer determine our peace or dictate our response. When we are rooted in God's Word, our outlook changes, we begin to see challenges as opportunities for God's strength to be revealed in our lives. The storms that might shake others no longer threaten us because we know God has a plan and purpose for every season we encounter. Jeremiah 29 verse 11 reassures us of this, declaring that God's plans are to prosper us and not to harm us, to give us hope and a future. Placing our faith in God reinforces our identity as His chosen people. We stand as a testament to the power of divine love. Strengthened by a relationship that is unwavering and rooted in His truth. In choosing God, we're not merely adopting a belief but embracing a transformative lifestyle that empowers us daily.
Each act of faith draws us closer to His divine protection, for His love surrounds us like a shield, empowering us to move forward with resilience and hope. When our lives are anchored in God, we are empowered by His strength, not merely to endure but to overcome. We begin to live from a place of empowerment, knowing that we are never alone. With God as our shield, we are free to pursue the life He has called us to, stepping out in boldness, compassion, and unwavering purpose. Living by Faith We find peace that transcends understanding, courage that defies fear, and love that casts out anxiety, affirming with each step that our lives are sheltered in the eternal security of the Almighty. Imagine a woman named Isabella who lived with an unwavering devotion to God. From a young age, she committed her heart to Him, believing in His promises and aligning her life with His Word. She was known in her town for her faith, and she met her husband, Nathan, in church, feeling sure that their union was blessed by God. For a time, life was beautiful, they had a loving marriage, a charming home, and blessings seemed to overflow in every area of their lives, but as time passed, storms began to gather in Isabella's life. Challenges crept into her marriage, finances, and health, shaking the very foundation she once considered unbreakable. In a matter of months, Isabella found herself stripped of everything she held dear, her home, her financial stability, and even the man she thought would be by her side forever. Homeless and heartbroken, Isabella clung to her faith, finding solace in her relationship with God. She was tempted to give up, but in her darkest moments, she remembered the promises God made to those who put Him first. One frigid winter night, a woman named Naomi noticed Isabella's quiet strength and offered her a job and a place to stay. This simple act of kindness reignited Isabella's hope and reminded her that God was still working. Even when she couldn't see it, over time, Isabella realized that God was refining her faith, strengthening her, and preparing her for a greater purpose. Through her trials, she became a testimony of faith in action, showing others the transformative power of God's love. Her story reminds us that, while life may take things from us, God will always restore us with something greater when we put Him first. The world tells us to chase after success, possessions, and approval. Yet, Matthew 6 verse 33 gives us a different perspective, Seek first the kingdom of God and His righteousness, and all these things will be added to you. When we prioritize God, we gain more than we could ever acquire by worldly standards. The peace and joy that come from God are unshakable and cannot be stolen by life's challenges. Unlike fleeting achievements, the blessings God provides are eternal, filling our hearts with genuine contentment. To put God first is to live above temporary satisfaction, knowing that our lives are anchored in the eternal. You may face challenges, temptations, and setbacks, but when God is your foundation, you remain unshaken. Take, for example, the life of King Solomon, who had wealth, wisdom, and power yet concluded that without God, all was meaningless. It was only by returning to God that Solomon found purpose beyond earthly achievements, putting God first brings with it a supernatural peace, a peace that surpasses understanding. As Philippians 4 verse 7 describes, it means that no matter what happens in the world around us, we remain steady, for our hope is not in the temporary but in the eternal. By choosing joy, we take control of our narrative, refusing to allow fear, doubt, or circumstances to dictate our outlook. Think of William, a man burdened by the fear of losing everything he worked for. He was successful by every worldly measure, but his heart was constantly troubled, filled with anxieties about his family's future, his aging parents, and his own health. His wife gently encouraged him to turn his worries over to God, reminding him that he didn't need to carry his burdens alone, after a heartfelt prayer. William experienced a shift in his perspective. The next morning, he watched a small bird hopping on his lawn, living freely without worry, trusting in God's provision. Inspired, William learned to let go, trusting that God would provide for his family just as he cares for the sparrows. This newfound faith gave him a peace he hadn't felt in years, 
allowing him to release his anxieties and focus on the blessings of each day, gratitude became William's armor against fear, a protective shield that transformed his perspective on life. Each day, he carved out intentional moments to reflect on God's goodness, diligently writing down small blessings that reminded him of God's unwavering faithfulness. This simple yet profound practice became a daily ritual, a sacred time where he acknowledged the gifts and grace that surrounded him, even amidst life's challenges. As he chronicled these blessings, he found that his outlook began to shift dramatically, he was filled with peace and renewed strength, even when confronted with setbacks. In this process, William discovered the truth of 1 Thessalonians 5 verse 18, which encourages us to give thanks in all circumstances. Gratitude has a unique power, it shifts our focus from what we lack to what we have. This change in perspective anchors us in God's abundant provision rather than allowing our worries to dominate our thoughts. When we cultivate a heart full of thanksgiving, we become more aware of the countless ways God is at work in our lives, often in ways we might overlook. Every breath, every moment, becomes a reminder of His grace and mercy, as William learned to place God first, he found that gratitude fostered resilience. When faced with uncertainties, he chose to see God's hand in every situation, trusting that he was working behind the scenes for his good. This trust allowed him to release the grip of fear and anxiety. Embracing instead the joy and peace that come from knowing he was never alone. In gratitude, William discovered a powerful antidote to fear, one that opened his heart to hope and empowered him to face life's challenges with unwavering faith. By focusing on the blessings around him, he found the courage to navigate each day with confidence and grace, assured that God was continually providing and protecting him, living with God as our priority doesn't mean that life will be easy. In fact, sometimes choosing God makes life more challenging because we're no longer following the crowd. We're walking the narrow path that few choose, as described in Matthew 7 verses 13 to 14, but it's the path that leads to life. The world may not understand us, and at times, we may feel alone, but we are never truly alone, for God walks with us. When we prioritize God, we shift our focus from temporary to eternal, living by faith rather than fear. This choice grounds us in the assurance that no matter what challenges we face, God is in control. Our hope is in His promises, not in the shifting sands of circumstances. When storms arise, we don't fear, for our foundation is built on the rock. Like the house in Matthew 7 verses 24-25, our lives are secure because they are grounded in Christ. Others may chase after things that bring temporary satisfaction, but as chosen ones, we seek the everlasting. We understand that true fulfillment comes from knowing God and walking in His purpose. As we walk this path, we find that our lives are filled with an unshakable hope and an enduring peace. We may face hardships, but we do so with the knowledge that God is our provider, protector, and guide. By putting God first, we position ourselves for blessings that exceed anything the world can offer. Father, we thank you for the privilege of being your chosen ones. Guide us to always put you first, trusting in your wisdom and provision. Help us live with hearts full of gratitude, knowing that you are with us every step of the way. May our lives reflect your love, bringing hope and light to those around us. In Jesus, Amen, putting God first is more than a spiritual habit, it's a transformative decision that shapes every area of our lives. As chosen ones, we walk with purpose, knowing that our identity is found in Him.